Hello, this is Mary with All Things Automotive. Bringing you here today, 2022 Audi S4 Quattro Prestige. This vehicle features a three liter V6 gasoline engine with all wheel drive. There have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax. This vehicle has had regular oil changes and it is a Carfax certified one owner vehicle as well. As we get closer here to the front of this four-door sedan, you'll be able to see that it is a sleek Daytona gray pearl coat with chrome and black accents as you'll be able to see there on the front grille. We'll come along here to the side of this vehicle and take a look at its tires and wheels. This vehicle features dark gray 19-inch aluminum alloy wheels and as for the tire treads, you have got a fair amount of life left in those, but I'll get you those exact measurements here in just a second as this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabinet air filter, and a new engine air filter, so you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. Here on the outside of mirror caps, you do have your turn signal indicators integrated into those. And underneath the mirrors, you'll be able to see you do have a right side camera. This vehicle does have a right side, left side, front, and rear camera, all to help you whenever you're parking or going in reverse. These mirror caps are also power folding, so if the vehicle's locked, they will automatically fold in to help prevent them from ever getting nicked by any vehicles passing by. And on the handles of this vehicle, you do have passive keyless entry, which is really convenient. Basically, if this vehicle is locked, you'll be able to get into it without ever needing to take the keys out of your pocket or your purse. We'll now take a look here to the inside of this car. Here on the inside of this vehicle, you do have a lovely jet black leather upholstery on the seats for a nice and easy cleanup after any spills or messes. And like I mentioned earlier, you do have those chrome and black accents making their way up the dashboard. While we're looking over here, I'll just open up the glove box and bring up the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. And as you'll be able to see here on this inspection sheet, you do have green checks the entire way around. And as for your tire treads, you have 8 30 seconds in both your right tires and 7 30 seconds in both your left tires. And as for your brake pads, you have 11 30 seconds in the front and 12 30 seconds in the rear. So you have a good ways to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. We'll now continue on to take you a look here at the rear occupant seating. As you'll be able to see back here, this vehicle can seat a total of five people, but if you seat four or less, this middle seat does fold down to become an additional armrest with a small storage space inside, as well as two fold out cup holders. These rear seats are also heated to help keep these rear occupants comfortable in the winter. You also have a rear climate control system, as well as charging ports for their mobile devices and a small AC outlet. You also have pockets on the backs of both of those front seats, and on both of the windows back here, you also have visors to help protect these rear occupants, both from the sun, but also from any curious passerbys. Over here on the door, all of the doors do have a cup holder in them, as well as powered windows. And down on the floor, you do have all-weather floor mats to help keep your floors nice and clean. I'll just close this door, and we'll continue on to take a look here at the rear of this vehicle. All along the bumper, you do have rear proximity sensors, that is what those small dots are, and you also have them in the front. They will let you know if there's anything behind you whenever you're backing up or parking, and like I mentioned earlier, you do have that front rear right side and left side camera to go along with that as well. I will just open up the tailgate to show you that you do have a good amount of space to haul some pretty large items back here. Those seats also fold down to give you a lot more space in the rear, and you also have anchor points to strap down any of those items from shifting around as you drive. And underneath the floorboards back here, you do have a spare tire if you're ever in a pinch. As you'll be able to see, you also have an all-weather cargo liner to help protect those floorboards from any nicks or scratches the loads you put in here might give it to. I'll just close this tailgate back down, and we'll continue around here to the driver's side. I would like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get two keys for your convenience and to help prevent you from ever getting locked out. This vehicle does have powered mirrors, powered windows, and powered door locks. And as for the driver's seat, you do have 10-way powered seating adjustments, meaning you can move the seat forwards, backwards, up, down, tilting the seat forward and back, and then four directional lumbar support. You also have a telescopic steering wheel, meaning you can move it in and out as well as up and down to fit you as you like. And to the left of that steering was just your headlight controls, dashboard backlight controls, as well as a small storage space. And you do have the original owner's manual for this vehicle. If you have any questions after you buy, you'll be able to look them up in there. 
the last thing I would like to show you before I get inside and turn on the vehicle is over here on the door, as this vehicle does feature a memory system for your power seating adjustments, which is really convenient if this vehicle has more than one driver. Basically, all you need to do is set your seating adjustments how you like them the first initial time, and from then onwards, with the push of a button, they will automatically readjust to how you initially set them, keeping you from constantly fiddling around with those controls. I'll now just get inside this vehicle and turn it on for you. This vehicle is a push to start. And now that the engine's running and the dashboard's lit up, you'll be able to see that this vehicle has about 14,634 miles on it. We'll take our attention over here to the left side of the steering wheel, as over here are your dashboard navigation buttons, so with these you can cycle through all the different information and services this vehicle provides to you up there. To the left, right behind the steering wheel, you do have your adaptive cruise controls. This is also beneath the steering wheel as well. Adaptive cruise control is really convenient because you can basically set a certain speed to cruise along the highway at, but if you end up falling behind somebody, this vehicle will automatically match their speed. And you can also set how far away you want to follow them. This vehicle also has lane keep assist, and then over here on the right side of the steering wheel, you'll be able to see that the steering wheel is heated to help keep your hands comfortable in the winter, and you'll also have your Bluetooth and call controls over here as this vehicle does have smartphone integration. We'll now take a look here to the center of this vehicle. Here on the side of the vehicle, you do have your lovely touchscreen, LED display, and you also have built-in navigation to help prevent you from ever getting lost. I'll just load it in reverse to show you all of those cameras in action. As you'll be able to see here, you can toggle through several different views to see everything around you. And this vehicle does also have park assist as well. I will just exit out of the park assist. And as you'll be able to see, when I put that back into park and am depressing the brake, the engine does quiet, it does turn off. That is the auto start stop kicking in. Auto start stop is really useful as it saves you a lot of idling hours as well as precious fuel. It's especially useful at those long traffic lights or in a traffic jam. So it will automatically turn off your engine as long as you're in park and the brake is depressed. And again, you can toggle that off very easily right there. Beneath that center display, you do have your climate controls and the front driver's seat and the front passenger seat are both heated and cooled to help keep you comfortable no matter the season. Beneath all of those climate controls, again, you do have your auto start stop toggle there, your electronic stability mode toggle, which just helps to prevent skidding and sliding. Right here is that park assist toggle, your park sense toggle, and then you can easily turn that screen off for a no distraction driving experience. Further down, you have a USB charging port as well as a power outlet, two cup holders, your main gear shift, parking brake, and then behind all of that, you do have your main storage compartment with a USB-C charging port inside. Lastly, we'll take a look up as this vehicle does have a built-in power sunroof to really enjoy those sunny summer days. We'll now move on here to the last section of this video. Here in the last section of this video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned, so if you're looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains, we know a lot of our customers come from very far away, and we want the purchasing process to be transparent and straightforward. We want you to know what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections, and all. So as I'm looking around the inside of this car, you have some faint, faint discolorations on that front passenger seat. But other than those, there is nothing else standing out to me. There are no odors or scents whatsoever. So we'll take a look here now to the outside of this vehicle. Again, we'll be looking up and down for any of those imperfections, starting by coming along here to the front. And here along the front of this vehicle, you typically tend to have several nicks and scratches, most likely from stone chips. Almost every vehicle has some form of these. The only way you can really prevent them is just by not driving your vehicle. This car does have comparatively very few from what you usually see coming through our dealership. And we'll come along here now to the passenger side. You do have a scuff there on that passenger side rear cap. A few faint scratches around that rear passenger side handle. And we'll continue around here now to the rear. Now often where I do tend to see several imperfections in vehicles is where the tailgate meets the bumper as people don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. But as I take a look here, it seems that this black plastic is in good condition. I'm not noticing any obvious nicks or scratches. You do have a discoloration here on the inside of it. And as for the bumper, you do have 
a few scuffs and nicks going along there. I'll just close that tailgate back down and we'll continue back around here to the driver's side. A faint, faint scuff right there. You do have a marking there on that driver's side handle. And we are back to where we started. That generally concludes this video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a four-door sedan with the ability to seat five, full down seats with a good amount of space in the rear, front and rear proximity sensors, a front rear right side and left side camera, all weather floor and cargo liners, heated and cooled front seats with heated rear seats and a heated steering wheel, built-in navigation, a power sunroof, two keys, power folding mirrors, leather upholstery, lumbar support, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, a Bang & Olufsen sound system, and passive keyless entry with all-wheel drive, this is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive. Located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this four-door sedan and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.